How to generate random numbers and random lists of data using Flutter. First of all, we need to import the Dart math library with which we can generate random numbers. And secondly, you can go into any method where you want to generate your number. And I want to call here then this random next double. And with this, we create then a value between 0, 0 and 1.0, not including 1.0. Let's also save this value inside of a field number and we also want to print it then to the console. And now every time I hot reload, he creates then here a random number and this number is every time a number between 0 and 1. To generate a number between 0.0, .0 and 10.0, you simply need to multiply your number by 10. And as you remember, before we were generating a number until 1.0, and since we multiply it now by 10, we generate it up to 10.0. And again, the value 10.0 can never be generated. The maximum value that we can generate is 99999. And now if I hot reload my application, you see we are generating here every time a number between 0 and 10. Next, we want to look at how we can generate an integer instead of a double. And therefore you have here on your random object a next int method and here you can then supply a maximum value. So this is the maximum value that is generated minus one. So the maximum value is in real nine and the minimum value is then zero. Let me also go here inside of the scaffold and here within the body property I want to create then a text widget and we simply want to put then this number inside of this text widget. And now every time if I hot reload, you will see here every time the new number that is generated. And the number that I'm generating here is always a number between zero and nine. So if you put here a value of 20 inside, then he would generate a value between zero and 19. In case you want to generate here a value between one and 20, then you need to increment here this value simply by one. And now if I hot reload, he will always create then a value between 1 and 20. Next, we want to generate a number within a specific range of numbers such as 5 and 50, for example. Therefore, we want to replace here this whole code by a new method next number. And then we define here the minimum number that we want to generate and the maximum number that we want to generate. And now we want to create this method next number. And here inside we create then again a random object and we call again the method next int. And like before this method takes then one value and we want to subtract here max minus min. Let's look at a practical example. So for example, the maximum value is 50 and the minimum value is five. And therefore we subtract here 50 minus one, which is then 45. And this is exactly this operation here. And next we call then on this operation, this random next int. And here we put then this value, which we have calculated inside. And this next int method is then generating a value between zero and 44. However, what we want to generate is a random number between five and 50 and not zero and 44. Therefore, simply add here to this value also the min value. And with this, we add here the number five, which is our min value and also our random value, which is then here a value between zero and 44. And out of this, we reach then a value between five and 49. So we are pretty close with our statement in what we want to accomplish. Only this number is wrong. We want to have here 50 instead of 49. And the trick is to increment then here this value before we put it inside of our function. And this is then here basically incrementing our value by one. And out of this, we generate then here a value until 45. And this will then also change here this value. And out of this, we reach then a value of 50. And now if we hot reload, you will see that he is always generating a number between five and 50. Let's maybe change here the value between one and five so that we can see it more clearly. So he is always generating here a value between one and five. Next to generating a single random number, we also want to generate a list of random numbers. And therefore you can call here this list generate and here you put then inside how many values you want to generate. So in this case, 10 values. And lastly, you can define here what kind of values should be generated. So here you get every time the index of the value, which is then zero until nine in this case. 
However, in our case, we even don't need this index because we always want to generate then a number between five and 10. And now if I hot reload, you see here a list of 10 numbers with the values between five and 10. The only problem is that we have some duplicates within our list. Every time if we generate here a list, you see there are duplicates and the values are not unique. Therefore, let's also add here another case where we create then a list of 10 unique numbers. And therefore, I create here a new method next numbers. And we put here then the value inside of how many numbers we want to generate. And we also can define here a range. So for example, 5 and 10 like before. Let's now also create then this method next numbers. And here inside, we basically want to create a set instead of a list because within a set, you cannot have duplicate values inside. You only can put here within a set unique values. And if you try to put, for example, twice a five inside, then he has only one five inside. And now it's straightforward. So basically we loop here all the time over the list until it is filled. And within this while loop, we add then every time a number to our set. And lastly, we generate then our random number and therefore we take here this next number method, which we have created before. And here we put then also the range inside of the min and max values that we have here within our method. So all in all, this statement is taking care that some numbers are generated and they are added then to our set. And in case a number was here generated, which is already here inside of our set and we try to add this number, then this doesn't have any effect. And he will then generate again a number until he can add this number to our set. All right, and lastly, we need to return then this numbers list and therefore I simply return it. However, this is a set and not a list what we want to return here. And therefore we can write here list off to create then out of our set again a list. And now we can try our example out and I also have modified here the range. So make sure that the range is here bigger than how many values you put here inside. So in our case, the range is here 20 minus five, which is 15. And with this, we make sure that we can at least create here 10 values. However, if you put here, for example, as a max value 14 inside, then you have here only a range of nine. So 14 minus five is nine. And with this, we cannot generate here 10 values. And since this method is generating 10 unique values, we will end up then in a for loop or an endless loop in case this range here is smaller than this number. All right, and now I can try it out. So every time if I generate here a new list, you will see that all the values are unique. And I also can increment here this number and it will always generate here unique values. And it is also performant if you put your high values inside. And lastly, we want to look at how we can get from our list a random number. Therefore, we create here a simple list this time with some values inside. And out of this list, we want to get then one random value. And to achieve this is pretty simple. So you can call here on this list the method shuffle. And with this, the whole list will be shuffled and all the values have then a new position. So for example, this is then going to this position and so on. So it's completely shuffled this list. And after the list is then shuffled and completely reordered, we simply can get the first item. And this is then a random item from this list here. All right, and now if I hot reload, you will see that he always takes here a random value out of this list, which we have defined. And of course, you also can access here a random item from your list by applying the things that we have learned before. So we simply exchange it here. And here we access then every time from our list a specific index. And the index is then a random number between zero and two, which means that we get here a value between these three values. And now if I hot reload, you will see that he only takes then these three values that we have here within these index of zero until two. And by the way, if you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel.